Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to this service. My name is Cheryl. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this morning. Thank you for every boy and girl. Thank you for our parents. Bless them. Thank you for this service. Help us to learn. In Jesus' name, Amen. Welcome to the praise and worship. laugh at me. Mm -hmm. That's not very nice. I've got a right to be mad. After all, he told on me. No, I did not. It's your fault you got grounded. He told my mom I went to Patel's house and I told my mom that I was going to Susie's house. Now, my mom found out and she was mad. Now I'm grounded for a week. Thanks to you. I didn't lie. You know, I didn't lie. I just forgot to tell your mom that we changed our minds from going to Susie's house because Patel was not well. Mm. So we had to go see Patel. Sorry, Shirley. It was a mistake. Yeah. You know, we found out, you know what? We found out more than once that we can't keep our secrets from our parents. Yeah. Oh, mm. well, and you know what? You mm -hmm. can't keep Jesus a secret either. Yeah. We need to tell others about him. Yeah. Yes, we need to tell others about Jesus. Mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. the story of Christmas. Mm -hmm. When the shepherds found out that baby G was born, mm -hmm. or was about to be born, mm -hmm. they went to see him. Oh, yeah. Then, mm -hmm. when they saw him, yeah. they had to tell others about yeah. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You see, no secrets. No secrets. Mm -hmm. God wanted the shepherds to tell their story. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And then mm -hmm. to tell the story about Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah. Just like the three kings that they saw the star. Mm -hmm. They need to tell we need to go and tell others about the light of the star in our life. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Correct. Mm -hmm. For whoever, for however dark your night may be, mm -hmm. there is a star shining for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And is a bright and morning star 
who is Jesus Christ. Wow, how simple mm-hmm. and how wow is that? Wow, the Bible is all about telling others about Jesus. Yeah. Do you think, guys, if no one told the story about Jesus, mm-hmm. we wouldn't have known about him today. Yeah. That's true. Mm-hmm. And we need to share about Jesus every day. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Let the whole world know about Jesus is our Lord. Lord. Mm-hmm. Let the light of the greatest and brightest star shine in our Lights. hearts. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. You know what? Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you guys for listening. That was amazing. Yeah. Now, I'm sure, Charlie, mm-hmm. your mom will hear the truth and you won't be grounded anymore. Yeah, I feel much yeah. better. Mm-hmm. You know what? Mm-hmm. My mom is the greatest mm-hmm. and so is Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Let's sing this song. Mm-hmm. This, this little, little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Go tell it on the mountains, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is God. Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Teacher Sam, and I'm so happy to be here with you to learn the Word of God and to grow in our faith in Jesus Christ. Now, before we begin our lesson today, I would like us to pray. When I want to pray, I put my hands together. Let's put our hands together. Let's close our eyes. Everyone, close your eyes. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for your goodness, for your mercies, and for your grace. Thank you for the lesson today. And thank you for preparing our hearts to listen to your word. Teach us, Lord, that you have sent us and you have called us to uh, tell others about you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. Now, boys and girls, before we begin our lesson today, I would like us to remember what we learned last week. Do you remember what Teacher Josephine taught you last week? Do you? Yes. She taught us that God is calling us to Can you say it louder? Yeah, God is calling us to forgive. All right? So, did you do do your craft? Did you forgive anyone who wronged you? I am sure you did because you are good boys and girls. Right? Now, today, we have a brand new lesson. And this lesson, before we begin it, I would like us to sing that song that we sang when we began our class today. Do you remember the song? Can we stand up and sing the song? Stand up, everyone. All right. Now that you have stood up, I would like us to sing this song. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills, and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountains that Jesus Christ is Lord. Do you know that song? Now let's sing it together. Go tell it on the mountains. Over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountains that Jesus Christ is Lord. All right? Our lesson today, boys and girls, is God is calling us to tell others about him. Just the same way we have sung, that we should go out and tell others that Jesus Christ is God. That way, we are telling others about God. God is happy when we tell others about him. That's why he created us. He created us so that we can go and tell others that what God has done for us, what he has done for us in our lives, what he will do for uh, your friends because they believe in him. 
what God will, he has done for you and what you have experienced uh, or what, what you've felt God done for you. If he has provided for you, if given you food, helped your parents to get, you know, uh, clothes and everything else that you needed, that's what you're going to tell everyone else. Now, boys and girls, to help us in this lesson, I have a Bible story. Like I said, it's a Bible story, so it comes from the Bible, the Word of God. Now, in the book of Mark chapter 3, so we'll read Mark chapter 3, and we'll also read Mark chapter 6, right? So, and most of the things that we'll be reading today is about God or Jesus calling his disciples and sending them out. So Jesus had disciples. They were 12. He called them disciples because they were his friends. They were his followers. They were learning from him. And when they learned, he had called them so that they can be with him to learn and then to, he, so that he can send them out to go and tell others about God. So he called these disciples. He taught them. After teaching them, he sent them out. He gave them the power to go and tell others about God. He gave them power even to pray for the sick. The ones who are hurting, the ones who are in pain, he gave them power to do that. So that when they go out, they tell about others about God and what God has done. And they can pray for the sick. They can, uh, when they pray for the sick, the sick become well. They become cured or healed. The people who are, had evil spirits, who are disturbed, they had nightmares. They would be helped also to stop having nightmares. In that way, they told others about God. And so, boys and girls, I would like us to watch this short clip that will help us with this Bible story that we've just talked about. And then, when we come back, we will discuss what we have just watched and heard. Jesus saw the crowds, and he loved them. They were stressed out and scattered like sheep without a shepherd. There is such a big harvest, but there are hardly any workers. Pray to the boss of the harvest that he would send workers to his field, said Jesus. Then Jesus called his twelve disciples to him, and he gave them power to be the boss over all evil spirits to send them out of people and to heal all kinds of diseases and sicknesses. And whoever doesn't want to have you or listen to your words, when you leave their town, shake the dust off your feet as a message to them. Some people will whip you and take you to their kings. Don't worry about what you'll say. The Holy Spirit will give you the right words when the time comes. If they say bad things about me, They'll say bad things about you, too. The things I tell you in secret tell boldly to everyone. Don't be afraid of them. Even if they kill your body, they can't kill your soul. The disciples went out two by two and preached in the villages. They sent devils out of many people, and they healed many. Jesus also sent another 70 people into the villages, two by two, and he gave them the same commands that he gave the 12 disciples. Lord, thank you for writing my name in your book in heaven. Please use me to tell others about you. Now, boys and girls, did you see? Did you hear? What did we see? Yeah, Jesus sending out his disciples, his followers, his friends to go and tell others about God. He also gave them power to be able to pray for the ones who are sick. He gave them power to chase away demons from them. But the main thing, boys and girls, that I want you to go home with today is that Jesus or God is calling us to tell others about him. Right? So as they were going out, they were telling others about God. In praying, they were telling others that God is powerful. In when they were praying for the sick, they were telling others that God is a healer when they were praying for the sick. When someone had problems, they, they were telling uh, that person that God is more powerful than their problem, bigger 
even much better. God is good. That's what they were telling the other people. So they were telling others about God. When you're telling about others about God, you tell of what God has done for you and what God will do and who God is. Never forget that. Who God is, what he has done for you, and what he can do for everyone else. So boys and girls, as you go out in your life, as you go to class, as you go visit your grandma, your grandpa, and even at home, make sure you tell everyone around you about God. Tell God. Tell, tell them what God has done for you. God has provided for you. Say, tell them, Daddy, Mommy, God has provided for us. Right? Then you can also tell your un uncle, your, your grandpa, God is able to heal because God is a healer. When you go to your classmates, tell them God loves them and God saves us from our sins. That way, we'll be telling others about God. Because God has given us the power to tell others about him. And he has given us the power through the power of the Holy Spirit to help us in saying all these things. Because sometimes we get afraid or we get tired. But when we have God in our heart, he, is able, he will enable us to do what he has called us to do. And that is to tell others about him. So boys and girls, do you promise to go out and tell others about God? Tell them what he has done for you. Tell them what he can do. Tell them that he loves them. Tell them that he can forgive sin, that he can save them from their sin. Go out and do that. And that way, we will be hearing the call of God telling us to go and tell others about him. So boys and girls, for us to be able to tell others about God, it is very important that we should have God in our lives ourselves. Because when we have God in our lives, we are able to tell others about him. All right? So I would like us to invite Jesus in our hearts. When we invite him in our hearts, he is able to help us and to send us out to go and tell others about him. So, for you to tell others about God, like I said, we have to invite Jesus in our hearts. So, I would like us to invite Jesus in our heart to be our Savior, to be our Lord, to enable us, to give us the power, through the power of the Holy Spirit, to go out and tell others about him. Would you do that, boys and girls? If that is your prayer today, I would, like, I would like you to close your eyes, put your hands together, and repeat this prayer after me. Say, Dear Lord, thank you for your lesson today. I need you in my life so that I can tell others about you. So come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Help me to go out and tell others about you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. If you have said that prayer, boys and girls, then you are a child of God. You are a follower of Christ. You are a disciple of Christ. You are friends with Jesus. And you can go out and tell others about God. And the first thing you need to go out and tell them is, God has saved you. That way, you're telling them about God. That God has forgiven you. That way, you're telling them about God. That God has redeemed you. I know redemption is a big word, but it only it means that he has taken you back to be your, his own child. When you are away, now you are back. He has bought you back. The same way we buy things, God has bought you back. And you are now a child of God. And you are filled with the Holy Spirit. That means you have power to go and tell others about God. Now, boys and girls, some of us are born again, but sometimes we have fear. 
So I would like to pray for everyone else who is born again, but they are not yet going out to tell others about God. So I would like us to pray for everyone else who um, may be having challenges or um, be afraid of going out to tell others about God. Before I tell you um, in our craft how you, the simple way you can go out to tell others about, about God. So let's pray for, for everyone else. Let's close our eyes and put our hands together again. Lord, we thank you and we honor you. Thank you, Lord, for each boy and each girl and even their parents watching. I pray that, Lord, you give each boy and each girl courage to go out and tell others about you, to evangelize, to spread the good news that you save, that you are a healer and you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we think or even imagine. So, Lord, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I pray that you will uh, fill us again and enable us to go out and tell others about you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, boys and girls, as we come to the near the end of this lesson, I would like us to do our memory work. All right? And as we do our memory work, remember, <clears throat> the memory work is supposed to help us remember the word of God. So I encourage you to memorize every word of God so that you can even tell others about the memory work that you are doing. That way, you are telling others about God. All right? So our memory verse for today comes from the book of Mark. Everyone say Mark. Chapter 16. Chapter 16, verse 15. All right? So Mark chapter 16, verse 15. And the Bible says, Jesus said to them, Go everywhere in the world and tell the good news to everyone. Can we repeat that again? Mark chapter 16, verse 15. And the Bible says, Jesus said to them, Go everywhere in the world and tell the good news to everyone. Let's do it for the last time. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. The Bible says, Jesus said to them, Go everywhere in the world and tell the good news to everyone. That's Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Keep on memorizing the word of God and you will grow in the faith every day. As you memorize, remember, go everywhere in the world and tell everyone. Or oh, tell the good news to everyone. Right, boys and girls? Yes. So as I go out, I also pray that you will go out. And if all of us tell others about God, then the whole world will know about him, will know him, and he will change our lives because we've known him. And now I want us to do our craft. This craft will help us to remember our lesson today. Now for our craft, boys and girls, we will need paper or cards. You can make cards or paper. But if you have a manila paper and you would like to uh, use it, you just get, cut it into cards. And then on those cards, you can cut them nicely and you write there on those cards to your friends or to your grandpa or your grandma. So you write, God forgives, God heals, God saves, God loves you, and so on and so forth. Write as many cards as possible with the help of your parent. And then, as you go out, you give your friends those cards. Like, I have a card here. So I'll give my friend. I have my friend, Teacher Wilson. 
And I also have another friend called Steve, another one called Peter, another one called Charity, another one called Josephine, and Daisy, and Karen. So all of them, I'm going to give them the cards to tell them how much God loves them. So I've prepared a lot of cards here and others that I'm going to share and tell them how much God loves them. So boys and girls, you can tell them God loves them, God can forgive. You can also write and send to your grandpa. If you're sending your grandpa a message, you go and tell them, Grandpa, I have this for you. When they see, they will read, God forgives and they will be happy because you will have told them about God. So these simple things that we do, we can easily tell many people about God. So I would like you to do that. And as you go to school, those ones who go to school, you go and give to your teachers and your classmates. Those ones who don't go to school, I, I'm asking you also to go and when you're visiting your uncles, your aunties, and uh, your grandpa and your grandma, please give them uh, the cards that you have made. And that way, you will be telling them about, about God. So boys and girls, we have learned today that God is calling us to tell others about God. And we sang the song, Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills, and everywhere that Jesus Christ is God. So as you go out on the mountains, over the hills, and everywhere, make sure you tell everyone that Jesus Christ is God. And in that way, you'll be telling them about God. So until next time, boys and girls, I will be praying for you as you also pray for me to go out and tell others about God. Bye!